we're learning that there are going to be some mandatory evacuations in some of our far eastern Texas counties, of course, in Louisiana. It is very windy here just south of Port Lavaca, not nearly as bad as where you are, but look at these waves off of Lavaca Bay. Neighbors were literally shook out of their beds this morning. We're in the backyard of a home that shares a fence with this bar. You can see into the bar. This community got pretty bad damage here right now. You can see it is very nice out, but man, the people who stayed here in Orange, Texas last night really had a night. Houston police are still out here investigating. You can see just beyond us here. Officers at the scene. Good morning, Mel, and a somber morning yes, here in Third Ward. We've already watched a lot of people come out this morning to pay their respects. It's not a bad morning, actually, right now. We're along the beach here in Galveston, along the seawall at Broadway. You can see the waves not too big here, but this is all going to change in a matter of a few hours. Hurricane Laura showed her ugly face in Orange, Texas, the small East Texas community, not too far from where the storm made landfall in Louisiana. Laura uprooted trees, downed power lines, and damaged buildings. The storm destroyed Potter's Mirror and Glaze. Some homes, though, were spared. How are you guys doing? We're, we're a little lack of sleep. We were able to check on retired Judge Pat Clark and his wife Rosalie's home. They evacuated to their daughters in spring. I had a feeling it was going to be bad. Their home was barely touched. We have been so fortunate, TJ. Thank you so much. You don't know that it's such relief. Although the storm uprooted a tree and littered their yard with branches. I don't, don't look forward to going back to all of that. But we have to get it done. I got to get those freezers and those refrigerators emptied. So. That's my next plan, and to call my nursery lady and say, hey, Mallory from Fry's, get that tree out of my way. For him, it's supposed to be held accountable. Her leadership has to be held accountable. Today, nearly a month since Vanessa Guillen's remains were found near Fort Hood, her family and supporters are in Washington, D.C., pushing for the hashtag I am Vanessa Guillen bill. We are here to demand justice for Vanessa. To me. This has to stop. I don't want to hear that. Another woman or another man was found dead in for her. I don't want to hear that another woman or man was sexually harassed, assaulted, abused, and raped. The bill would let service members file sexual assault and harassment claims to a third party rather than a superior. This after hundreds of Fort Hood service members have come forward with their experience on the base. My sister is with God, she's in a better place. But then the other survivors, they're here with their families. Why did it take so long? Lawmakers held the first congressional hearing regarding Guillen and sexual harassment. In an institution that prides itself in cohesiveness to leave no soldier behind, we are failing. Today, supporters are hoping by making their voices heard, Vanessa's won't be lost. She can be 